I'm an orthopedic surgeon. I'm fellowship trained in sports medicine. I'm the assistant professor of, um, of orthopedic surgery at Braille College of Osteopathic Medicine in Las Cruces. And I'm also the associate director for the orthopedic surgery residency program through Mountain View and Royal College of Osteopathic Medicine. And I wanted to go into medicine. My whole family, I have a family of doctors. My, my father was a physician. I have four brothers that are physicians. And we're all osteopathic physicians. We're all DOs. And so this was just, I don't know, I'm not sure I had a choice. It was just kind of like dad was a DO, so we were all going to do it, you know. But uh, orthopedic surgery specifically just fell in line with being an athlete. That was perfect. I went to an orthopedic surgeon when I was injured um, in basketball. I sprained both of my ankles real bad. And that just seemed like the perfect fit because I saw all these other athletes in his office. I was like, wow, this is the perfect field. I'm going to look into this. So I do uh, arthroscopy which is basically kind of translates to the lay public to um, like sports surgery. It's minimally invasive. We make tiny little um, incision sites around the shoulder and the knee. Uh, it enables the patient to get back uh, into sports a little bit quicker because they don't have a big incision to deal with. And um, also I have more rehab techniques, accelerated rehab techniques I direct the therapist to do to try to get them back a little quicker. Not everybody needs uh, to be operated on and some people are actually better left alone. And um, you have certain indications in surgery, okay? And if the indication is not there and it's somewhat kind of confusing in the regards that they don't quite meet the indications and maybe their, their clinical exam doesn't correlate with their um, MRIs, we'll do conservative management for sure. And that usually includes physical therapy, range of motion exercises. And as an osteopathic physician, I can tell you that our philosophy is that the body does have an innate capacity to heal itself. So we try to promote those body systems to allow that to happen. And sometimes that requires a little bit of muscle uh, energy, in other words stretching. Sometimes it requires a little bit of manipulation, soft manipulation, and those sorts of techniques to kind of help the body heal itself. When I deal with my patients, I probably spend most of the visit listening to them. I try to figure out exactly how the injury happened, uh, what kind of pain level they're at right now, uh, what makes it better, what makes it worse, how I can enhance the healing process, and then I'll try to come up with a really good treatment plan for them after I make the diagnosis, of course. But yes, listening is the key. That is probably the key to clinical diagnosis, in my humble opinion. Having a surgery center close by and right next door is just, it's a tremendous benefit to the patient. If it's a real emergency where we might have to take somebody in and do a quick close reduction of a wrist on a kid that maybe got injured in practice at high school, we can take him in there, have the anesthesiologist, you know, give him a little bit of sedation. We can do a close reduction or maybe even a pinning right then and there. So what that does getting them in so quickly is that enhances their recovery and it reduces their out time from their sport.